What's going on, little dap? It's Jared Munz, former pro and founder of OnlineSoccerAcademy.com. Today, we are learning how to do the scissors. The scissors is an attacking move you can do to get by a defender. This move is considered more of a basic move, but it's a classic, and when done right, it's highly effective. If you already know how to do the scissors, click here to learn how to do the advanced scissors. Towards the end of this video, I will throw in coaching tips on how to coach this move to younger players. On a side note, did you know we do OSA soccer camps and clinics all around the United States? Click here to see our camp schedule for this winter and spring, and I hope to see you at an OSA soccer camp or clinic soon. If you are a coach and interested in having me come out to put on an OSA soccer camp or clinic for your team, click here for more information. I'm confident if you love OSA videos, you will love our in-person coaching. Key points for doing a scissors. Key point number one, stand behind the ball and step with your left foot to the side of the ball. Key point number two, drop your left shoulder and over exaggerate a fake that you're gonna run left. Key point number three, bring your right foot around the inside of the ball to the outside. Make sure you lean your body a bit to the right when you step to the outside of the ball. The goal is to get the defender unbalanced by thinking you're going right when you do the scissors. Key point number four, take a touch with the outside of your left foot at an angle going forward. Your touch should be out in front of you a few steps so you have room to accelerate past the defender. If you take too small of a touch, the defender might be able to get a leg out and make a play. Key point number five, change pace. The best attacking players in the world know how to change pace after doing a move and speed up. Think slow to fast. This will help create a few steps of space between you and the defender and give you a second or two to make a play. Key point number six, do not take too big of steps to the sides because it will throw off how fast you can run when changing pace. For example, I see lots of players step too far left and right, so when they take their touch to dribble forward, they are almost in a split position, which means they can't run right away. You want your left foot touch going forward as part of your running stride. Key point number seven. Do the scissors when you are two to three steps in front of your defender. Do not get too close to the defender because while you're doing your scissors all nice and neat like, the defender is just plowing into you. This will increase their chances of winning the ball. You're gonna need a ball and three cones. Don't worry if you don't have cones, you don't need them, you can practice your scissors without them. An exercise we can do to practice. Start off by practicing the scissors without the ball from a standstill. Get your body used to how you will feel. Once comfortable, get the ball out and practice the scissors from a standstill. Do it slow, take your time, get the scissors right, and then accelerate after the move. Once you are ready, set up your cones like so. A start cone, a defender cone, and a cone you will accelerate to at an angle forward up the field from the defender. From the start cone, dribble up at a slow pace. Do your scissors two to three steps prior to the defender cone, then change pace and accelerate forward. Do a light jog back and repeat the exercise. Do this until you get tired or you feel like you're mastering. Some things that could be going wrong. If the defender is always winning it, there's two things that could be happening. First, you are doing the scissors, but you are too upright and stiff, so the defender isn't buying your fake. Remember to drop your shoulder and over-exaggerate your fake. Second, you are getting too close to the defender. Time your scissors right and do it two to three steps before a defender. Coaching tips, if you are a coach watching this, here are two tips to help you better demonstrate the scissors to your players. Coaching tip one, be careful of the mirror effect. When you are demonstrating the scissors, you will say scissors right. But from the player's angle and in their minds, they will hear you say scissors right, but they will see you go scissors left. My advice is after you show them key points and you are demonstrating the move, turn your back to the players. So now when they see you do the scissors right, it's to their right too. Coaching tip two, Get down on one knee and use your hands to move the player's feet. Remember, most players are visual learners, 
So if you have a young player that can't understand the scissors, drop down on one knee and pick up their feet and scissor them around the ball. Just do one foot at a time so they don't lose their balance and fall over. Bonus tips. If you are left footed or you want to try this left footed, then the key points are the same. Just do the opposite when I say right or left. Use this move when you're running half or three quarters pace. The scissors is much harder to do when running at a full sprint and not always your best move choice at a full sprint. Just keep that in mind. Hope you enjoyed this online soccer academy training video. Like, favorite, and share this video if you did. And don't forget to subscribe on YouTube or sign up and create your profile for free at onlinesocceracademy.com. Players all over the world use it and you can do game reviews and track your progress. Post a comment and let me know how this video worked for you. My name is Jared Muntz and remember, if you believe in it and back that up with hard work, anything in life is possible. Believe in it!